I guess just thoughts. Everyone will want to know about Markstrom because that feels certainly like the more likely to happen. What is a Madripani deal as well? How does that come together? What does that look like in your estimation? It's probably a little bit difficult. I mean, he's a guy that his pay is not commensurate with his play. Um, depends on whether the Flames want to try and rip the Band-Aid off now or do you try and rehab his game and then all of a sudden he has a better season and you've got a prime trade deadline chip. I would tend to lean more towards the latter that rather than trying to move heaven and earth to get this guy out of here now, which I mean, I think the writing's on the wall that this is going to be his last year as a flame. If he is back that it's probably the more prudent move to wait because you, you know, you never know, like you never know guys that look like they have tough contracts in the summer, all of a sudden become valuable commodities when it comes to the deadline. Rock Besser. Think about it. What we thought his contract was too much money two years ago. Monster year. Yeah, and look, th- there's a long list of those guys. Remember the, uh, a couple years ago, um, the Flyers had to pay a second and a seventh to move off of Shane Gostisbehere. Mm-hmm. He had 56 points last year. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, and he's put together three consecutive double double digit goal seasons from the blue line. Yeah. The, these things happen, so I don't it certainly shouldn't be going out of your mind to try and move him. Uh, but if there's someone that's interested, they're open to the discussion. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.